Welcome back to Cap's Kitchen, and in this episode of Cap's Kitchen, we're going to be doing a little something special, a little down south breakfast, if you will. I've got some amazing items, all locally sourced here in Arkansas, with a little infusion of some down below the border Mexican spice, and a little bit of Indian as well. To be honest with you, I'm just winging it, but I'm sure it's gonna taste okay. And if it doesn't, just keep it a secret, okay? So, we're gonna dive in, we're gonna be chopping up some fresh pepper, cracking some farm fresh eggs, diving into some delicious petty jean meats. So, if that sounds like something you enjoy, stick around if you're new here hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you can uh, repeat this recipe in your own kitchen. If not, that's understandable because I do whip up a pretty mean breakfast. So there's that as well. All right, guys, got a stove in close here. The first thing we're gonna do, as always, with our pre-seasoned cast iron skillet is get that piping hot because when I lay stuff down on it, it's gotta be real hot so that we don't get any stickage. Go ahead and get that oven, excuse me, stove top turned on how we want it. And I need to go ahead and crack into our select protein today, which is a little bit of Petty Jean smoked pepper bacon. This is made here in Moralton, Arkansas, or at least packaged. Uh, and Petty Jean, if you're from around here, you know it's just the creme de la creme of the meats. So, <laughs> pause. Um, their pepper bacon's particularly good, and it's thick cut, so you do get a lot uh, in every bite. I even go a step further and pepper the pepper bacon because I'm a freak like that, so that's what we're gonna go with on the um, bacon side of things. On the egg side of things, we've got our heritage, free range chicken eggs. And that's how you can tell they're legit not dyed because you got your blues, your teals, your tan, you got all the different colors. This is my package down here in Rogers, Arkansas, a couple miles down from where I live. And uh, real good eggs. See the difference? Some eggs like these is the yolk. And the, uh, this is a nice dark amber orange color. You get some mass-produced eggs, and you're gonna get a runny, real, real soft yellow yolk, and this is just a bunch of better product. So spend the extra dollar, get you some better eggs if you can. The taste is insane, and it's much better for you as well. So, all right. And the most important step, though, and we'll get to it all, is our seasoning, which is we're totally winging it with the seasoning. But I'm a pretty good cook, so I think we can make it work. Now, what we want to do first here is crack open our bacon, throw it on the stove. I'm going to find my knife here. And we want to get that to about a medium low temperature so we don't get the bacon cooked before we're done making our egg products. Get that cracked open. Look at that bacon. Look at that nice, delicious marbling there. I mean, that is a nice chunk of bacon there. Usually, I would like the stove top a little hotter, but for the sake of continuity, we're just gonna go ahead and get it ripping here. And it'll get there, we're pretty close. So, we're gonna do two today. Two little breakfast burritos today. Nothing too crazy. So, I'm going to fold that up, put it back in the fridge real quick. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and pop this open a pepper here. This is just a standard green pepper.
Now you can use a cook top to make this job a little easier, but I don't have one right here, so we're just going to use the uh, the, the uh, actual countertop. And I don't need too much of this, so we'll place that off to the side, and I'll just use about a quarter of it there. Add a little bit of crunch to our breakfast. And the secret on having this stuff taste the best is to always make sure we're throwing it in there with the bacon grease so it absorbs that flavor. Now what we want to do is go ahead and whip up our eggs. And this is probably the most, ah, I say most important. It's an important part because this is where we're going to get a lot of our flavor in our eggs here. So maybe two eggs. up in this cup here. There's one. And there's number two. I'll just crack the whole yolk in there. I don't know if you can see there, but those eggs are just nice and amber orange. And what I'm going to do today, since I don't have any tomato sauce, I usually would use a tomato paste. Uh, and I would put about two tablespoons of that in here just to add some flavor, but I don't have any tomato paste. What I want to do is do some sort of Indian-Mexican fusion here. So what I have is a little bit of tikka masala uh, pre-made sauce here. And I'll probably put about a tablespoon of this in there. Just to add some flavor. a tablespoon of this chipotle uh, diced pepper and that's going to add a real nice smoky flavor to our eggs that's going to give it that nice Spanish fusion flavor that all mixed up nice. that are familiar with eggs know that one of the more important ingredients you're going to do in your scrambled eggs is going to be cheese. It is very important. So, we got us some Gouda cheese today. And this is, again, some locally sourced cheese. 
then it's going to be taken over. my bacon real crispy so we'll let that sit a little longer there this is our block of cheese here and I've been snacking on this for a couple weeks now getting nice and stinky for us <laughs> using more but I think that's gonna be okay. Alright so got our bacon sitting getting close. Now what we can probably go ahead and do here is throw a little bit of seasoning on our peppers. So I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. continue to soak up that bacon grease as well as that other flavor. There we go. See, I like that nice brown. So we can put our eggs on now. And we'll just throw it all on at once, just like this. And you'll see that bacon grease will start to really cook those eggs. Flash hook them like that. Which is what we're looking for. And that's going to give you so much flavor. And I think, you know, you hear people say, oh, don't, you don't need a lot of bacon grease, and that's bad for you. You know, I've been eating bacon grease pretty extensively for the past 30 years of my life. And I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Now, the things that are bad for you would be sugar and stuff, so watch out for that. But bacon grease is not bad for you. Good for you. Good for your hair. See those eggs starting to get nice and fluffy. Look at that. Go ahead and pop our cheese on for the thumbnail picture here. Right? Good call, Bailey. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll show, let's go ahead and show you guys what we're working with here. Well, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Nice little pan of food there. It's gonna look even better though once we get that put in our tortillas.
cheese getting all melted in there. Now you don't want to overcook your eggs, so we're probably pretty close there already. transfer over some of these eggs to our tortilla there. We'll call that number one, probably a little too much in there. And we will call this number two. There we go, Bailey, spill her out the side. Mmm, that's good. Alright, then what we're going to do, obviously, is get our strip of bacon there, put that in just like that. Same on this side, just like that. A couple of our green peppers here, and just toss them on over like that. It's going to add that little bit of crunch we're looking for there. And same over same over on this guy here. Just like that. And now, what we want to do is usually I'll get a little bit of butter, just a little bit. Just season the pan just a little bit for that tortilla because who, who doesn't like a butter tortilla huh? crank that heat up a little bit we'll get these folded up and I'll get that nice and smoky before I turn it down that way you get a nice finish on your tortilla we'll get these bad boys nice and rolled up just like that same with this guy over here. Rolled up. Be nice and rolled up there. Tortillas are, as a wheat tortillas like to tear, so you gotta be a little more careful with them. But you see, you see how it's smoking? So that's how I know we're good to go. Put that on there. There's number one. Nice. And then we'll get a little bit more of our butter there. Just spray that on the top there. Like that. this with a little bit of sriracha, a little bit of hard is, and the secret recipe that no one knows on burritos is a little bit of parmesan, and it really changes the flavor a lot, makes it taste real nice. You see, that's what you want is that brown, that brown coat there on that. Same on the other side. Okie dokie, look at that. So what we're 
going to do now is just put a little bit of our garnish on and we're going to call it a day there. I'll dive in real close so you guys can take a better look at what we worked with here. But what I like to do is just put a little bit of this parm cheese on there. Right about up there. Then we'll put a little bit of our... I like this Tabasco Sriracha a lot. There's the dog. He's thirsty. Get that nice. And then our finishing touch here. And this smoked roasted sauce is good stuff. And let's go ahead and crack it open. I see a bagger. Alright. Let's get up in this thing real quick. Looky there. Get all of that sauce in here. Take a big old bite. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I would do wish I could share this other one with you, but I think I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. If you try this recipe and end up cooking it at your own house, Let me know how you like it. Until next time, thanks for watching.